I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. This could work out pretty well for Triple G. And in defense of his performance against Kell Brook, in defense, Triple G has never claimed to be this elusive, Perno Whitaker, Floyd esque, Willie Pep type of guy. He's never claimed that. And I think he could have boxed more conservatively against Kell Brook. He even said, This is going to be my street fight. He wanted to do something different. You see, Triple G. At this level at least, at this level at least, is a very confident dude. He said before the Kelbrook fight that this is boxing, I have no fear. Now, whether when he steps up a grade of opponent that, you know, is more comparable in physical strength to his and has talent themselves, if you'll have this um, no fear attitude, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not Triple G. But he said he has no fear, this is boxing, this is what I do, I have no fear. He's a confident dude. At this level at least. I think he tried to give this fight a theme. A street fight theme. That's what he That's what he did basically. He could have boxed in a more conservative manner. Now his feet are always going to give him them problems. Where there's times he gets into rage. He's just a sitting duck for counter punches. And his hands are nowhere near blocking the shots. And sometimes he doesn't even attempt to block them. He doesn't even bother. This could work in his favour, and it looks like it has, because, you know, Billy Joe Saunders straight away is on to Frank Warren to make the fight, and now, Billy, it's on camera, bro. <laughs> no more, I have to bring Glocks and shotguns to the ring. This can happen now, this can happen. And he's not going to box like that against Billy Joe Saunders. He's not going to box like that. He's going to go back to the Lemieux in yeah, Saunders. But then again, he might box in a similar manner to how he did against Brooke. Because I believe um, Saunders is going to try and fiddle him about. He's going to try and mess him about. So Triple G may be forced to make it into a dogfight. Saunders isn't going to trade with um, Triple G unnecessarily. And he shouldn't either. He shouldn't. But he's not going to take the street fight attitude into that fight there. Yeah? He's not going to be gambling on landing big left hooks like he did against Brook. He's going to be trying to set set the jab up to set up other shots. Maneuver Saunders onto the ropes for them big body shots. He's not going to be walking right up in close all the time like he did against Brook. Because he said this is the street fight fight. So he's going to take a little more of a measured approach against BJ Saunders or Daniel Jacobs. He's going to fuck up either one of them. I like Triple G. I like Triple G. I think Triple G is a heavy hitter. He's got this blue collar sort of style to him. And I actually like Triple G. So it could have worked in his favour. Billy Joe Saunders thinks he can do it. I don't think he can. But you never know. You never know. You never know. A lot of people are going to fancy their chances. They think there's a blueprint on how to beat Triple G. But is there at 160? Is there at 160? Well, he's a marked man now. He's a marked man. Everyone says they saw a plethora of flaws. Feet are wrong. Jab is telegraphed. Head movement is non-existent. He doesn't punch that hard. We're hearing a lot of stuff. We're hearing a lot of stuff. So this, this really should work in their favor in terms of nailing down fights right now. You know, he's aging. I didn't like the Brook fight. I didn't like the Brook fight. But it could inadvertently have worked in his favour. Peace.